Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So once again, this is day five of our seven day seven design challenge. And we are going to do what we've usually been doing. First, I'm going to introduce today's challenge. And then second, we are going to pick the winner from yesterday's entries. And then the third thing we're gonna do is take a look at some of the entries that we received. Some are really great, some weren't, but you know what? That's how it is. All right, so let's go ahead and introduce today's challenge. And this one is very, very different. So what we're gonna be doing is we are packing in three challenges and this is going to be the remainder of the challenges. Yes, so what this means is challenge one is to draw an icon. You have to hand draw it, okay? Have to hand draw it and then take a picture of it with your phone or scan it on your computer. All right, this icon can be any type of icon. Um, so it could be like a search icon or you know just any type of icon you'd find in a user interface. The second challenge is to vectorize it. So you have to you know use your vector tools either in Adobe XD, Figma, or Illustrator, or whatever vector capable application you want to use or what you're familiar with. And then the third challenge is to create a micro interaction out of it. So when I say a micro interaction, either a hover here in Adobe XD, like a hover-based animation, um, or a click-based animation in XD or Figma. So when I say a micro interaction, if you're not sure what that is, basically it just means animating the icon somehow. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So you see, we have our 400 free animated icons. All these down here, if you hover over them, they have some sort of interesting micro inter interaction or an animation of some sort. And you could do this type of thing in Adobe XD or Figma. You can also do this in um, a, like an app like Adobe After Effects. You could probably even do it um, if you wanted to uh, in JavaScript as well with something like GSAP or whatever. Um, so it's completely up to you um, with how you want to do it. But those are the three things. It'd probably be easiest just to try to do it here. That way you can have your picture, um, your vectorized version, and then the micro interaction version. So what we're going to do though is I'm not uploading a video every day for each one of these. So I'm uploading today. That means you have today, Saturday, and Sunday until uh, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time on Sunday to do these three challenges. So you're submitting this single project and that's gonna take care of the remainder challenges for this you know, seven days, seven designs. The reason I'm doing that is because I think I'm uploading too much and um, my subscribers are getting a little fatigued. There's not as many views on, e on these. So this is the last video I'm doing. And then the next video on Monday, I'll do the review and that's that. All right, so let's go ahead and pick the winner from yesterday's entries. All right, so coming back here, we're gonna go to my little picker tool. We had 73 entries, not quite as much as the previous days. And here we go, random pick. All right, Coding Carter, who are you, bro? Let's check you out, Coding Carter. 15 year old programmers, currently a freshman in high school, wow. All right, well, let's check out their Adobe XD document. All right, simple enough, you know, I've seen a lot worse. It's very simple. I, I, I think all the fundamentals are actually here. Let us uh, do the work for you. Um, contrast is good, I can read everything. Very, very awesome, keep at it, man. So I'm gonna give you a free copy of my Scrimba UI Design Bootcamp, um, which, uh, yeah, is usually 39 bucks. So I will be messaging you here at the end of this challenge here on Monday or so. All right. So now let's go ahead and review some of the entries that we received. So let's get out of here. And here we go. This time we have about, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 or to check out. The first one I'm checking out here is a landing page. And this is actually pretty solid for the most part. Um, I kind of don't like the amount of uh, line space between these two. I think if you push them up just a tad bit, it would help. Um, outside of that, Yeah, this is pretty pretty good. Maybe a little bit more white space between this element and that uh, icon right there, that illustration. But yeah, this is pretty solid overall. Nothing too bad that's happening here. You might wanna see more of a separation between the, the nav bar background and this one. Maybe make this a dark desaturated blue. It would probably work well with these colors. But yeah, either way, pretty good. This one right here, 
It's just a dribble, uh, a mock-up here of the broken UI design style. It's done pretty well, I have to say. I like the colors. Yeah, nothing's really happening too wrong here. Might be a little bit excessive doing it with the about right here. So I might want to just do it over here and just, you know, stick to that one. You don't want to overuse that type of effect too, too much. Either way, it's good. Right here, I included this one because I hate looking at UI designs that are boxed in. Like I would add a lot more padding over here. So like extend the canvas all the way out to here, but keep this here, this column and do the same thing on the right side. And it won't feel like it's so closed in because um, most people won't have their browser like this anyhow. Um, so anyhow, yeah, just a, just a small tip there. Next up, this logo, I decided to include this logo. I think there's just too much happening with the symbolism in and of itself. At most, I would say get rid of this little block here and get rid of these two right here and just simplify it. So I think there's just too much happening. Probably get rid of the drop shadow sort of, or the bevel right here that makes it look 3D. That's just an unnecessary element. You wanna to try to simplify uh, your symbolism, symbolism as much as possible when it comes to identity design. Uh, next up, somebody did a design course logo. I personally prefer my design course logo as much as possible, but I, this, this actually isn't too bad. Can I move things? No, it's like locked, so I can't move anything. Uh, but either way, thank you for your take on the design course logo. Well, I decided to include this one simply because I, look at all the type, it's all blue. All the type in this section is blue. I would just take stick with the, the, the blue here for the headings, maybe the date and this heading and this heading, but this, this text right here and this text should be like a dark gray or if not a black. And that would help out a bit. Next up here, is uh, some art with my logo. All right, so one problem here, too cluttered. Your logo, this is why uh, some companies actually have, uh, when it comes to their their um, brand identity guidelines, they have ways that you can use their logo and present it. And it's almost always gonna say, don't ever do something like this uh, because it's cluttering the logo. There's too much happening in the background of the logo. It's fine to have a watermark, but this isn't really isn't a watermark because it's it's too much contrast. So if you want to do something like this in the background, really make it dark and barely noticeable. That so that way your logo can stand on its own. Next up, this is funny because somebody actually I listened to what I said. I said it could be as simple as a button for this challenge, and then somebody just made a button. I thought that was funny, so I included it. All right. Next up, I like this one, but there's a problem with, you guessed it, contrast. Where it says, welcome back, please log into your account. It's it's small type. Um, when you have small type, you definitely need to make sure that your, your contrast is uh, high. Uh, it doesn't have to be completely black on white, but this is, this would be hard for a lot of people to read. Same thing with the username and password placeholder text. Ideally, these would be um, actual labels. But yeah, just a small note there. I like the design otherwise. Uh, yeah, every, you know, the colors are good. White space is good, all that stuff. Next up, this is an illustration, a frying pan illustration. I liked it, so I featured it. Good stuff. Now, that is not to say that if I didn't choose your your uh, your, your design to review, it doesn't mean I didn't like it. I just, I don't know. I just really like this one particularly. particularly. Female rockers, I had to include this one because I am a guitar player myself, so... Um, in terms of the UI design, I like it. I'd probably take this whole section right here, move it over to over here because it seems kind of random, just placed right there in the, in the center. Um, hard to see this, this little, um, I just saw it now, the little arrows. Make those white so they can really stand out. Yeah, female rockers, awesome stuff. <laughs> Next up, this one right here, I decided to include real quickly. It's just... It's hard, it looks like it's a window inside of a window because it looks like a nav bar here and a nav bar here. This is the nav bar, but this isn't a nav bar. However, it is styled almost exactly the same. You don't want that because it looks like, it looks like an app within an app. So you don't want that. Make sure to avoid that. Um, right here, hoping for some feedback on this UI concept. All right, so taking a look at it. Too much happening in this area right here. What I would do is probably remove this illustration completely and it's where it says intersection of strategy and art. Take art, put it over here. That way you'll simplify this whole section a little bit more because there's just too much happening here. Second to that is your play button. Seems to be the 
primary call to action because it's a vibrant blue icon next to it. So I put that to the left and then put work with us to the right. All right, people read from left to right, so your most important element should be here. And so you're designating this as being the most important element because it is what it catches my eye the most in terms of the color. Other than that, I like it. Next up, this is like a logo of some sort. All right. And so there's just different options. You can see this playing around with it. Um, I kind of like this one almost the most. I would also experiment possibly with being real simplistic is sticking with the F and then also having this element a little bit larger and accentuated, maybe perhaps all the way out and then ending it right here possibly. Although I can almost guarantee you there's probably other Fs that are logos that are like that. So maybe not that direction. I would also experiment with taking these two elements and pushing them all the way in so it connects connects with this element. So yeah, pretty good overall though. You have the idea. And then right here, I really like this one. The colors I really like. I is this yeah, this is a let me go back. Wait, there's a lot happening here. Am I just going through them like randomly? Like is there an end to this? Maybe there is. Well, unfortunately, I can't even click it. What is happening? Oh, well, whatever. In terms of the design, I like it. Um, I would probably move design whatever you want and this stuff right here away a little bit so you have more white space between these uh, borders right here and themselves because it's, it's, it's you have one element here, you have this element here, and then you have this element here. It's like a, just a, a little bit too cluttered in that section. Outside of that, I like the button. That looks like a similar button that I had in a recent tutorial. Um, yeah, broken layout thing works pretty well. All right, guys, awesome stuff. Thank you for submitting. And of course, I read the instructions. If you want to submit, it's done through Twitter with a specific hashtag. This time it's going to be seven days, seven designs, uh, five, seven, no, oh, no, oh, wait, five, six, seven. Yeah, the instructions in the hashtag itself will be in the bottom there. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys will participate and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.